Hello and welcome. Uh, today I'm going to change the uh, cursor or the mouse uh, pointer to a different one, uh, which this one is the Oreo cursor. Uh, as you can see, we have uh, purple, blue, uh, green, gray, black, and we have the spark ones, which is uh, spark black and spark purple, blue. Okay, let's go to the github page this is the github page for the Oreo cursor okay just I'm going to put this link in the description so I'm going to make this package uh, make this stuff so we need git and make and inkscape and x cursor gen all right let's go here and as you can see I'm on void Linux so sudo xpps dash install dash s and uh, I already have a git and make so I'm going to install inkscape escape and uh, what's that x cursor gen and of course ruby to make this thing okay hit enter is going to say we already installed Xcursor and Ruby. We need just to install Inkscape. All right, and just hit yes. Okay, the installation of uh, those dependencies finished. So now we need to clone the uh, git hub repository and just copy and paste. All right. And next thing we need to do cd into that and Ruby gen. Okay, let me just copy this. All right. Okay, cd into cd into Oreo, and if I list the content, as you can see, I'm going to just do Ruby gen generate and convert this thing. Hit enter, as you can see, it did all of this stuff. Detected. Blue, gray, pink, and all of this. So next thing we just make build. Okay. All right. This is going to take some time between depends on your computer speed. So it's gonna take about for about uh, twenty to fifteen minutes, fifteen to twenty minutes. To build okay I'll be back when it finishes all right okay hello again uh, this uh, make build just finished it took about uh, 15 minutes so now we need to do sudo make install as uh, recommended in here sudo make install so I just going to copy all uh, uh, this uh, stuff that we built. Uh, I list. It's going to copy them to our U USR slash share dash slash icons. Okay. And now we just finished. Uh, you can see the out of that directory. Now we need to change our cursor. How we can do that? I use a program called uh, me just uh, uh, called edX appearance okay let's open it as you can see this is edX appearance so let's go to mouse cursor as you can see we have Oreo black Oreo black Oreo spark blues if I click on one of them so let's uh, use this one as you can see let's use some someone uh, like uh, purple in here if I go purple it's spark purple pink 
course, orange, light, limb, and light pink, green, dark. You can ch choose whatever you want and okay. Let's uh, change the, for example, let's change it to something like uh, more. Let's change it to black or maybe spark black, spark dark. All right, as you can see, you can't even see it anymore. So if I hover over uh, my DWM bar is not going to, is gonna show the old one. But as soon as I reboot my machine, if I have hit apply and uh, reboot my machine, is going to take effect. Okay. And uh, just close this as you can see. This is my cursor. As you can see, over chromium, it's not going to change if I hover over chromium or my bar okay as soon as i reboot my machine it's going to show up uh, correctly okay i'm going to reboot the machine and uh, show you the result okay i'm back as you can see my the mouse pointer is changed so if I hover over my DWM bar, as, as you can see, it's not uh, going back to the old one. If I go to Chromium, as you can see, the, it's still the same cursor. It's not going back to the old one. All right. Uh, that's it for this video. Uh, thank you for watching and see you in the next one.